Hi guys, I want to share with you a couple, just a tea bag journal cover and a tea bag covered junk journal. So I'm going to put the cover to one side and I'm going to start with my latest junk journal. As you can see, this one is covered in lovely round tea bags. And what I've done to preserve the tea bags and so it's much more tactile and is going to last a little bit longer, I've hit this with some acrylic wax. I will put the link below if any of you want to know what acrylic wax is. But it's just going to make it more durable. It puts a sheen across it and just allows all those um, nasty little things that we get on our hands. It should try and prevent it and keep it sealed. That's a long short of it. So. I've done a few bits already on how I've done these round tea bags with the tissue paper. These have been sewn and then they have been glued and then I've backed them on to some gift wrap. Now the gift wrap, dare I say it, is a Paris theme and this came from Australia from my beautiful pen pal Annette. And I'm just using things that are in my stash. I really don't want to um, make any more purchases currently. I've got a tea bag style pocket here. So there are three rectangle tea bags on one large clipper style tea bag. And I've put some card underneath for some more durability. We've got this tag here, fabric tag, which has actually just got a tissue paper glued on top and it's old linen trousers which have been coffee stained up and we've just got this little rose just for more, really, for a little bit of impact of all things. And yep, yeah, you can see my stitching down the outside. This was done on a sewing machine and it has got a little bit of quilting. I would like to add a bit of stitching later on just to make that uh, a little bit stand out a bit more. Piece of infembra here dated from 1926. I, this would have been a w last will and testament of um, a young lady. I'm going to place that inside. As I said, it is a little delicate, but I've just done some layering up there with the tea bags. Now what I've done is taken a selection, I've got an old book which from Dover Crafts which allows me to reprint the black and white images. I'm not selling this journal, this will be for myself, but um, you will see quite a few little um, black and white details that have come from Dover Craft. And so I've got this little coffee stained envelope here with this wonderful couple. And in there, for the moment, it is empty. This is like a little bit more of a bare and basic because I actually would like to do my own journaling in this particular journal. It's possibly for the fact that this is my first real tea bag sort of um, journal cover, which and I, I, I kind of like it. So we've got a variation here. Um, I did some stamping on some tracing paper and I put the tracing paper into my photocopier and then photocopied the black and white images and as you can see I also heavily distressed it with um, some Tim Holtz vintage um, photo. I've got an old, well it looks old. This is a modern postcard and what I've done is coffee stained and because it has a glossy sheen you can see that the coffee has worked its way in underneath and it's got this crackled effect. And this really is because they put a finish and I've just really soaked the postcard in a very dark solution of coffee. And so it looks exceedingly grungy, but it is a modern postcard. I've got a few images. I've used my plastic doilies and dried my paper. So here actually is a paper doily on this one. So you're going to get a variation. Plastic doily done here. And so it's just lovely decoration. Now this is old paper that would have gone um, into a, an old fashioned printer. And it was my grandfather's and we salvaged some. And um, I've just duly coffee stained some up. We've got a little bit of lace here. I've got a little little tag tucked in here. Back when I was a much younger young lady, 
we went to France and I was able to get my silhouette cut. In actual fact, my mum wanted our, me and my brother to have our silhouettes cut. And this is like going to be my miniature trademark. So I've just got this on this coffee stained tag here. And it's my journal and it's, it's going in. So, And I love the fact of it's me of my younger days. A few more coffee stained. I do do heavy grunging on when it comes down to white tags. And so yet again, you can really see how that's been left in the sun to dry. And it's virtually in a roundabout way. It's... Um, <laughs> Do you use the word caramelised? I really don't know. But it is dried with a little sheen. We've also got just a little old piece of ephemera here. And this came from an instructions from an iron. So I just like putting little bits and pieces in. More images from Dover Craft. Got some fabric here, which I've just stamped over. I used a plastic doily again, and I put some gold metallic paint through it, just acrylic. And then I've done some stamping with some Tim Holtz stamps. More wonderful images. This happens to be a cork, a wine cork, and I literally sliced it. I love the dragon here holding the grapes. And I thought, well, you know, rather than throw it away, or in our case, you might put a 50p in for good luck, but um, on this occasion, I just thought I'd slice it and try and see if I could stick it into my book. This is just an old envelope, trashy old envelope that's come in. Inside here, I've just got more bits of coffee stained ephemera. It's so I can write on the back accordingly. We've got a book plate. We've got some fabric. Some medieval, I love medieval, I don't get as much opportunity to find it in um, books but I just wanted to have this lovely feel of a court gesture. An old little um, piece of ephemera here, this is um, somebody has worked meticulously and done lots and lots of writing of history. and. To be honest, I just wanted to use their lovely pieces of work and I've just made it into an envelope which opens up and in the back we've just got this tag yet again so I can do some more journaling. The tea bags from here, we actually, I've sliced down the outer edge along the bottom here and this is the actual overcut of the offcuts, should I say, of the tea bags. I'm not going to waste anything, to be perfectly honest with you. And so that has just gone down the side and it will be used as a tuck spot as well. One of my photos, which I printed on my um, photocopier, just done a bit of stamping behind. This is a square paper doily. Back to one of the really grungy postcards. We've just got a bit more stamping, an old playing card here, but I just love the fact that it's got a lovely castle. I am of that sort of ilk that I love castles and, as I said before, the medieval. And in the centre here, we've just got another image from Dover Crafts, and I just love the fact the charm in Chloe. An area that's plain, ready to be journaled on. What I've done, this is a resist. This is my passion fruit. This is my passion fruit leaf. I laid that on top of this paper doily and it allowed the sun to, um, to dry. I left it out in the sun, but what it's done is worked as a resist. The passion fruit leaf has gone down and so the coffee just hasn't seeped in underneath. We've got a bit of fabric going on here. Waste not, want not is a good saying and it's got a big curve cut out of it. In actual fact, it goes all the way down. So I've put an image over the top and then placed it onto my paper and turned it into a pocket. And as I said, as we're working on the themes of um, cloisters and monasteries and abbeys, I've just enclosed a 1960s style piece of ephemera from Suffolk. More plain pages, a little bit of stamping, a very small little envelope here awaiting some form of ephemera. 
bit more stamping back on the old trashy envelope, more images, more tea bags down the outer edge for interest. I received this lovely little envelope here in the post from my friend Progero from Germany and I took two different stamps here, stamped one with the little poem and then found one to go around the outer edge. And this works as a little pocket, so I'm looking forward to putting something inside. Another pocket here with a little bit of lace trim and another piece of, this is just a piece of knitting ephemera. I've left these plain, awaiting some form of stamping or journaling. This is the back of one of those lovely images here and just of swans out on a lovely lake. Cut this ace out of um, a pack of cards, so just took that from the centre. Got a little bit of, of the tea bags here. We've just got a little bit of a console tina going on. So we've just got these all just carefully glued together with tissue paper and using the different colour glues. So that's just been popped in there for the moment, not sure where that is going to go. And then just to the back page and a few more images and I just love these beautiful gowns that these ladies are wearing. You will notice also that this is the back of my journal. You can just see where I've cut round. I didn't make the quite the right measurements and I kind of like it's quirky, the fact that it doesn't completely butt up to the end. So it's going to be mine. I'm not majorly concerned at all, but I'd think about it if I was doing it again in the future. So that's my junk journal. And then we've got another variation here, another cover that I've made. And this is Mod Podge tea bags, tissue and cotton fabric. So I literally, you can possibly see the tea bags underneath and this I'm going to put sewing machine round the outer edge and yet again I'm just enjoying the fact of mucking around with tea bags and seeing different variations of ways of layering up using fancy tissue paper. Right guys, I hope that has been helpful and I hope that you also like this style of journal cover. Be great to hear from you. And I will catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.